This is the drawing that we've been making for the past few days. Now it is the cloning of the DJI Taylor uh, using the coreless motors and also Arduino to make the flight controller and receiver. And in this video, we will be making the electronic speed controller, the ESC for the coreless motor, which is a brush DC motor. Now, brush DC motor ESC is quite different but easy from brushless DC motor. So in this video, I will show you how to do it and you will be able to do it yourself if you want to do it for this project or any project that you have. So let's begin doing that. Now, before starting, I would like to uh, tell you about the uh, upgrade of uh, one part, which is the uh, Arduino Nano. Now, uh, in my last uh, uh, introduction of this uh, project, I told you that we will be using the RF Nano, which is right there. If I can get it out, so this is the Arduino Nano. But then I realized that the Arduino, the NRF in the Arduino Nano is using the pin D9. Uh, that we have to use for a PWM signal uh, for the motors. So we will not be able to use the D9 if we use the uh, RF Nano. So that's why I'm uh, changing the RF Nano to use the regular audio Nano into which uh, I will solder the NRF 24 s module. I have with me the PPM receiver right here. If you have watched my uh, uh, previous video so i will just uh, uh, solder it to this audio nano later for the trans for the radio communication but i would like to tell you that we will be using the audio nano instead of the rf nano so for the electronic speed controller you will need some components first of all you will need the mosfet now in my website you will uh, get the code of this mosfet which mosfet i am using if you can see it here and this is a n-channel MOSFET and then you will also need a 10 kilo ohm resistor I have with me the SMD version if you can see it it's quite small I'm using the SMD version to uh, reduce uh, space and weight uh, you can use the normal one for the resistor if you want to and also you will need some short key diode now this is the SS14 short key diode you can see it well. Polarity of this uh, SMD uh, the short key diode is very important. You can see there is a bar right there. Yeah, the bar indicates the cathode of the short key diode. So uh, remember that we will be uh, using this mark as reference for to make this uh, uh, brush DC motor ESC. Okay, and then you will also need the zero PCB, the prototyping PCB that will. Uh, fit in this part right here and then you will also need a connector to connect your battery now i will only do one to explain to you how uh, to solder it and uh, i'll do the rest and once i explain to you one you will be able to do the rest yourself so first of all take your uh, prototyping pcb and then and then add some uh, uh, flange so i'll just take a MOSFET, place it right where I put the, the flux. Now the flux is optional, but it's a good way to uh, make your solder cleaner. Take my tweezer, hold it in place, and then add the solder. So we will be uh, connecting these, the two uh, back uh, pin, which is the gate and the source. Now, once this is done, you will take the short key diode, add some flux in this also to make it stick better. But uh, then you need to add some solder for to be able to uh, solder it uh, properly. Okay, once done, you need to take into consideration the bar of it. The bar is the cathode, remember I told you. So the bar is in the right side, right there, the the bar is actually on the right side and the one without the bar should be connected to the drain so you have to take that into consideration otherwise you will burn your MOSFET and also your diode so the bar the cathode should uh, be on the positive so it should be uh, should not be connected to the drain of the of the MOSFET okay once done you need to solder the other side to the uh, drain of the MOSFET 
So once uh, the Shotgi diode is connected to the uh, MOSFET, uh, you are good to go here. Now you have to make sure that it's connected well, otherwise your motor will not work. Then uh, you will need the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor right there and put it in the middle of the two legs at the back of the MOSFET which is the source and the gate now this is a pull down resistor that will make sure that your uh, motor is always turned off uh, when powering on so you have to make sure uh, that this is connected properly also otherwise uh, once you start your uh, quadcopter your, your motor will just turn on drain and the source so that's one esc done that's all that you need for the for one esc so now what i will do i will, I will first fast forward this part where i will do for other three so once you have done the connection as i have done for the first one and you have made already made four of it uh, like this now what you need to do is just to short the the left side of the mosfet okay so everything you showed it right there and then on the left side also you need to uh short all the left side of the left leg of the of the mosfet now that's done. We have already shortened the the positive and the negative part of the MOSFET. So now that's done. Now we will just add the motors. So for the motors, the, remember I told you that the first one will be for the first motor, and well, our first motor, first motor is this one, and this should rotate clockwise. So what I will do is take the red wire of the of this uh, motor. Connect it to the positive side. And then there it is. So our Arduino is working fine and uh, none of the motors are, are running. So that's a, that's a good sign that we have added the pull down resistors correctly. Now uh, to test if uh, our connection uh, between the ESC and the motors are good i will just uh, run a test code and see uh, if uh, it's working fine so once connected uh, you just need to open a fresh uh, arduino id uh, then uh, what you only need a uh, one line of code so it will be just analog right look right Then the pin number, I will test the first motor, which is the uh, on pin three, then add a PWM value. I'll just add 50 at first. Okay, then I'll just upload this to the Arduino. So you can see right there, once we upload the code, the first motor is running fine. So that means our connection for the first MOSFET is right and if you want to increase the speed let's just change this one to six to six and the value to 150 for the six you see the the the, the speed has increased you can uh, increase it to 255 which is the maximum pwm value so the speed is even high now so our electronic speed controller is working so, so thank you guys for watching uh we have success successfully made the uh, brushless uh, brush motor esc and uh, it's everything is working fine so see you guys in my next video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please uh, do so and uh, you can like this video if you uh, if you have appreciate this uh, uh, video and also put a comment if you have any problem regarding your project. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video